Let's go. It's also Pride Month, and that's why we are joined by these gentlemen today. Hello. Good Hello. afternoon. Thank you so much for having us here. Thank you, Miss Nida, for having okay. us. Because uh, there will be a runway show called Pride, a decade of fashion of Don Cristobal, that's you, and other 12 designers that um, next week, it's already next week. Yes. So why is this fashion event significant? What can we expect from it? Let's learn directly from the renowned fashion designer himself, Don Cristobal, and Miguel de la Rosa, the president and CEO of Amplify Marketing Corporation. Welcome to Spotlight, Don and Mig. How are you today? We're good. <laughs> and thank you for having us, Miss Dina, and congratulations to your digital TV show. Oh. So, of course, uh, as mentioned, uh, we have a lot to celebrate this month mm -hmm. so the event is not only a celebration of pride but mm -hmm. of course a celebration of the decade of excellence and talent of dawn i yeah. know <laughs> i'm so curious about his work so we'll yes. talk about that sure, later sure. but first let's talk about the show this coming june 11. it's called pride, pride. so yeah. please tell us more about actually pride it's because i'm one i'm celebrating my 10th year okay. in the industry plus uh it's uh, it's also a celebration for the upcoming Independence Day. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's yeah. June. Uh -oh. <laughs> June 11. Right, June right. 12 would, would be the, our celebration of the Independence. Plus the LGBTQ plus pride community. Mm okay. So, so uh, you and 12 other designers, yes. right? Can you okay. tell us more about that? 12 designers that 12 you designers invited. We have actually Kati Capistrano. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, Patti Balye. Okay. Uh, who's uh, a good friend of mine. Uh, she's uh, a wedding uh, designer. designer. Okay. We have uh, Michael Castillo mm -hmm. from Batangas. Then mm -hmm. we have two other designers from the Cordillera, okay. which is Christopher uh, Tabili and Mom Julie Dan. Mm -hmm. Then we have also from Rizal, mm -hmm. which is actually... Uh, Where you're from? Uh, I'm from actually I'm from Mandaluyong. Ah, okay. I'm from Mandaluyong. All right. Then we have uh, from Antipolo, which is uh, uh, Robert Galliardo. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, another designer from uh, Laguna and Cavite. Mm -hmm. So, mukha na kalimutan ko na So we're actually twelve. Yeah. So twelve. Yeah. How did you come up with this twelve? I mean, anong reason that they became part of your lineup. Actually, uh, we before the before the uh, conceptualizing the the, the, the event, mm -hmm. we wanted na magkaroon ng different uh, designers from different regions. I see. So we, we try to check kasi mm -hmm. mga natin, uh, mm -hmm. to represent the the Cordillera. Then we have also from Laguna, Cavite, mm -hmm. para naman diverse. Uh -oh. Diverse yung ating ipapakita for the show. Yes, it's a yes. very good concept, no? Yes. Pero, syempre, the Philippines has so many regions, di ba? So, para, so, was it very hard for you to come up with your 12? Medyo mahirap-hirap ng konti, mm -hmm. but uh, ito naman mga designers natin very cooperative, so, mm -hmm. iyan. So, nakompleto kami. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, how was the preparation for the show? When did you start um, preparing and what did it take? come up with your concept? Actually, uh, itong show na to supposedly ng 2020 pa, it's because of the pandemic, medyo mm -hmm. na-delay ito ng sto. So, uh, hanggang 
napalitan ng napalitan yung concept. yung yung concept, yung designers na na magre-represent ng every region. Mm -hmm. So, uh, medyo medyo mahirap yung preparation. Mm -hmm. But it took me uh, around like six months to to finally makompleto yung okay. yung buong concept ng show. But we're still in a pandemic, di ba? Yes. How did you decide na eto na, this is the time for Pride again? Yes, medyo natulog na tayo ng dalawang taon. <laughs> so, maraming kating-katina. No? It's about oh. time to to take pride with our works. Yes. At pa, para na makita uli na, na bumabangon uli, lalo-lalo na ang events na medyo namatay ng dalawang taon. Yes. Sobra. Medyo so, challenge. Kami na. talaga yung affected. Kasi, oh, di ba? Lalo na yung mga designers. Wala mm. na yung magpapatahin ng damit para para irampa <laughs> dahil walang events. <laughs> Yes. How did you survive? Anong ginawa mo? Nagluto pa rin. <laughs> Actually, uh, I'm one of the first na nag-produce ng face mask during the pandemic. Uh, buti pa nga yung face mask natin nakarating ng iba't ibang bansa. <laughs> during that time, I'm the first uh, fashion designer who produced uh, fashion face mask. Okay, yeah. very good. Yes. Diba? Make use of your time. Correct. Your design pa rin. Correct. Diba? Okay, so did you always want to be a designer? I know you've been in the business only for 10 years, di ba? Pero ano, how did that come about? Ano yung ginagawa mo before that? Actually, I, actually, I'm into arts talaga. Mm -hmm. Pero nung bata ako, parang hindi ko naisip na maging fashion designer. Parang gusto ko lang mag, ano, maging isang display designer. Kasi pag na, na, pumupunta ako ng mall, nakita ko yung mga displays, very attractive sa akin. No? So parang sabi ko, balang araw, parang gusto ko ding mag, ano, mag-put up ng mga mm -hmm. mannequins, tapos i-design siya. So, ganun lang yung unong una. Okay, uh, your interest really was just designing, yeah. making, creating a look, yes. di ba? Correct. And then, somehow you started making your own designs na? Yes. Oh, okay. Buti naman. <laughs> <laughs> Pero ano, how, how did you two meet? Paano kayo naging magkaibigan? And how did you start working together? Yes. Sir Migs. <laughs> Ako ata ang sasagot niya. <laughs> Actually, um, I saw the, the the talent and the creations of Don over the past 10 years. Kasi I, I'm in event management, mm -hmm. I'm supporting pageant, I'm yeah. supporting different mm -hmm. brands. So, uh, I see a talent when I see one. So, uh, actually, I'm the one who reached out to him. Okay. Sabi ko, uh, Don, uh, I'm interested to support you with your event. Mm -hmm. So, I thought, dahil may pangalan na siya, hindi mamamansin. And I love the humility and greatness, Miss Dina. So, I, uh, he's been accommodating naman. Sabi ko, it's not, uh, it's not naman mahirap to support a talent. Kung baga, you don't have to hard sell when a talent is really a talent. Yes. So, uh, that's why we're here because you also believe in the talent of Don, I assume. And thank you for having us. So, again, um, the the tenacity the longevity of somebody like Don mm -hmm. you know may mga fly by night may nawawala sisikat lang ngayon so being in the industry for 10 years speak highly of Don yes um, and the relationship and the creativity mm -hmm. ibas ka he dressed a lot of international designers uh, before pandemic or nung during pandemic nag Miss Grand uh, sa Miss Grand International he won the best national, best national costume for Japan. So, <laughs> you know, uh, it's for, for, I will echo the, the saying of Donna, kapag nananalo kasi yung design mo, di ba naka, may sense of pride and tumataas yung value niya sa designer. And you know, uh, moving forward, he tried to keep the relationship with everyone. Uh, I think uh, one important element in this show, which I also appreciate, is... Don is trying to nurture the, the young designer, the new model. So, paying it forward, Miss Dina, trying to make sure that everyone are covered, na kahit na nandun na siya, willing niyang i yung iba to be able to start on their own. Maganda yan. Mait mo pala. <laughs> so, pag mabait, kailangan supportahan. Supportahan. So, so Migs, talaga, ang galing mo magsalita, marketing guy ka talaga. <laughs> Have you always also wanted to in marketing or ano? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, sabi nga niyan is, if you love what you're doing, you really excel. I'm a graduate of marketing. So, uh, I'm grateful that 
uh, usapang idad, Miss Dina. So, uh, oh, I've, been, I've, been, I've, been in, I've been in the industry for 20 years. and mm -hmm. Since birth, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> I handled a lot of number of brands over the years. So, mahal ko yung trabaho ko. And if uh, I'm always advocate of kapag minahal mo yung ginagawa mo, it's mm -hmm. not work at all. And Tama. passion will gonna speak for you. Um, may isang uh, somebody give me a tooted uh, title, a man of marketing passion and effort. Mm. <laughs> Something to that effect na I try to pay it forward as well, the same way I'm doing for Don. Mm -hmm. Na I'm grateful enough to know how to start from nowhere, from mm -hmm, scratch. Mm -hmm. So if we can empower and allow people to grow with us, mm -hmm. then let us be the instrument of God's blessing to be a blessing to Speaking others. Speaking of right. which, because you're always willing to help people who are starting out or who deserve the support but are not getting the support, as you said. Yes. When you were starting out, ba, was it hard for you? Did you get that kind of support from other people? But I'm going to ask you two. Uh, ako siguro, Miss Dina, I, I, I know the challenge around mm -hmm. it. I'm a Bicolana, I'm a Provinciano. I started my career here in Manila in San Miguel Corporation. And it took me a lot of adjustment. Mm -hmm. But since anchored on a solid ground yung marketing foundation ko, mm -hmm. dahil gusto ko yung ginagawa ko, mm -hmm. hindi naman siya challenging technically about work. Mm -hmm. Challenge is to, to, you know, to grow the connection, the right. network, and that to continuously uh -oh. innovate. Uh -oh. And 20 years mm -hmm. after, I'm still here. <laughs> the longevity and the tenacity and you know the love for work nandito. Okay. So nakita ko yung mga protege ko naging marketing manager na naging entrepreneur na naging naging epitome siya ng definition ko ng success that if I see the people around me succeed, mm -hmm. then that's my part of success. Oh, okay. I'm part of their success. Congrats. So, kaya dun sa angle na yun, Mm -hmm. I echo yung ginagawa ni Don right now sa young mm -hmm. designers, young mm -hmm. models. So, yun. Kung baga may principle kami to pay it forward despite our humble successes, mm -hmm. if you are not afraid to see ar the people Other people around succeed. you. Other people succeed. Diba? Uh, I, so, I support that. Diba? Don, additional <laughs> Ako, sir. Oh, Ako, nahirapan ka ba starting out? Mahirap eh. Kasi gustong gusto mong maging designer. Mm -hmm. Pero... Nung, 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 nung unang panahon, nung unang panahon, <laughs> nung time ko kasi na gusto kong maging designer, napakamahal ng education. I see. Tapos very few lang talaga yung mga schools na, may... na nag-o-offer ng fashion design. Uh -huh. So, mahirap kasi walang pera. I mean, nanggaling ako sa isang, you know, uh, pamilyang sapat lang. So, walang, kung meron kang gusto, parang you need to, you know, work for up, it. You work yes. for it. Oh. Oh. So, nung una, mahirap kasi wala kang pera. Nung nagkaroon ka ng pera, nawalan ka naman ng time. Mm -mm. So, yun yung <laughs> challenge. Diba? Kasi very busy ka na sa work, meron uh. kang pera, pero hindi ka na makapasok sa school kasi divided na yung time mo. So, mm -mm. medyo doon ako nahirapan. I see. Pero how did you survive yung hirap na yun? At what point ba na na-feel mo na okay na ako? <laughs> ano eh, uh, actually hindi ko na-feel na okay na ako eh. Kasi <laughs> di ba ang, ang education parang mm -hmm. everyday you, you must learn parang ganyan. Mm -hmm. you, you adapt things, mm -hmm. ganyan. So ako kasi hindi ako tumitigil sa pag-aaral. Mm -hmm. So everyday is a learning experience. Okay. Parang ganyan siya. So, so what kept you going when times were very hard for you? trying to make it in the industry? Uh, para hindi ko isip yung goal ko, yung target ko. Focus lang, no? Yes. Okay, so But that's... I make it a point na every work of mine mm -hmm. is my last day na. Oh, <laughs> Parang my last work. Oh, <laughs> Parang maganda. maging perfect siya. Oh, uh, actually, it's very hard to keep in mind, pero that's yeah. very good eh. Kasi at, you really will try your, yes. your very best. And Correct. like they say, uh, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Definitely. So we'll yes. know more about Pride, Don Cristobal, and Migs de la Rosa when we return. Stay with us. Magandang araw mga katribu! Narito na ang mga makakasama nyo tuwing umaga sa programang Gising Na. Roy Pelevelo, Atty. Lia Badilio Crisostomo, Vernon Velasco, Kim Sancha, at Chirk Balagtas. 
Abangan ang programang gising na sa Facebook page ng Daily Tribune. Ilabas na ang mainit na kape at samahan kami sa inyong pag-almosal, mga katribo. Simulan natin ang bawat umaga with good vibes sa mga informative and recreational segments ng aming programa. Maaaring nyo rin ibahagi sa amin ang inyong opinion via Daily Tribune Facebook page at Tribunal sa YouTube. Makichika na rin sa latest showbiz happenings, mga katribo. Kaya naman, magsama-sama po tayo sa... Gising na! Ang Daily Tribune, may digital shows na din. Dahil sa mas lumalaki at mas lumalakas nating tribu, handog sa inyo ng Daily Tribune ang mga programang magbibigay buhay araw-araw. Be informed at mag good vibes tuwing umaga sa programang Gising Na. Be updated sa news and happenings sa Tribune News on Q. Mas kilalanin pa natin ang mga paborito niyong atleta sa programang The Athletes Tribune. Alamin ang latest entertainment sa programang What's Up. Ma-inspire sa mga kwentong hatid ng Fairfax. Search lang ang Daily Tribune sa inyong Facebook at Tribune Now on YouTube. See you there, mga katribu! Alamin ang latest entertainment at sa mga paborito niyong celebrities kasama si Pocholo Concepcion sa programang What's Up. Makibanding at kwentuhan kasama ang mga kilalang personalidad sa entertainment industry. Sama-sama natin silang kilalanin at silipin ang makulay nilang mundo every Tuesday at 2pm. Kaya sit back and relax lang kayo, mga katribu. Hanapin at ilike ang Daily Tribune Facebook page at Tribune Now on YouTube. Dahil sagot na namin ang masayang kwentuhan, dito lang sa What's Up! Welcome back to Spotlight. We're still with the international fashion designer Don Cristobal and Amplify Marketing Corporation's President and CEO Migs De La Rosa. Hello. <laughs> so before the break, we were talking about the challenges they faced when they were starting out in their respective fields. But as you can see now, they are thriving. <laughs> so Don, um, this is the 10th season of your runway show. How yeah. do you keep things exciting and fresh? Mm, that's a good question. <laughs> Actually, every year naman talaga pinag-iisipan ng prod kung mm -hmm. ano yung... Uh, uh, gusto namin ibigay sa audience namin. So, we we see to it na uh, every year may mga pasabog talaga. May mga, uh -oh. Something mga, new. Yes, exactly. Oh, so, yeah. for this year, ano yun? Pwede ba i-reveal? <laughs> <laughs> Manood kayo. <laughs> yeah, this year we have a uh, pet uh, fashion show. So, it's included ah. in the in the segments. Ay, nice. Yes. Pero so, in hindi the lang past, tao, oh, pati may, pet. Ay, uh, nice. Yes. Nice. How about in the past years? Ano yung mga highlights for you na parang, ah, you're so proud of those things that you accomplished in past shows ninyo? Mm, meron kayong mga designers na who's into body painting. So, ah, na-feature din namin okay. siya with, with, uh, with the, the mm, clothes. Mm. And also, meron, meron kaming mga specialized na mga designers talaga na mm. magaling sa pagbuburda. So, iba-iba talaga. I mean, very diverse talaga yung mga fashion designers natin. Magagaling talagang okay. pinahin. Yes. Ang dami. Yes. Parang feeling ko, you never really run out of talent, di ba? Correct. To find, I mean, and build up. Speaking of, ikaw, mix. mahirap ba? Did, it, did you find it a challenge to, to market uh, this show this year because it's the pandemic? Ah, uh, both grateful and challenged kasi siyempre, ah, uh, it's a uh, it's a trust to return everyone to a face to face event. Oh, okay. Kaya nga nang sinabi ko earlier, mm -hmm. hindi naman siguro mahirap i-market ang isang talent. So, nakikita niyo naman sa tabi mo the, the details in the creation. Oh, tatanungin ko siya itself. dito mamaya. <laughs> so, somehow um I hope my humble uh, reputation in the industry will gonna rub to Don to help him with his future endeavor. We, we are in agreement as as new friends, as a new partner. Now, this will not be the first and the last, Miss Dina. Yes. So, after this, we will have a plan of more exhibits, hopefully marami international. So, <laughs> maraming abangan. Yes. So, oh, oh. somehow... Uh, Maybe you should go to the provinces also. Yes, I, we discuss it. I'll try to bring him on my hometown in Bicol region. Uh, people are watching there. We'll uh, dadalhin natin si Don doon. So, oh, oh. sa hometown ko sa Naga City. So, as a marketing person, Miss Dina, uh, when I market a show, an event, it's anchored on the the soul of the event, mm. not on the commercial profitability. Yes, okay. it's needed, 
but kung walang anchor on solid foundation of what is really the the soul of the event mahirap kasi siya to explain further kung kung nasa puso mo siya madali lang oh nga and besides if you're marketing somebody like Don mukha namang madali eh oh medyo mahirap mag-market <laughs> ng hindi talented this oh, okay. so kaya nga eh, kanina talaga kanina ko pa to gusto itanong eh <laughs> sure <laughs> si Don na ba na diyan so Don tell us about this very interesting unique yeah. dress it's actually part of my finale segment mm-hmm. on the show on the, mm-hmm. on the 11 okay this is made up from actually the, the the title of my my collection is uh sako at banig sako at banig yeah. because all the collections are made from the sako and the banig wow yes like this and what you're wearing yes. oh also, oh tingnan niyo yung uh, jacket <laughs> ni ni Don is made of sako or banig sako sako wow so how does it Uh, parang, paano mo ginagawa to How do you make a, a coat out of banig? Yeah. Or Actually, sako? I, I, I normally use unconventional materials talaga. Ever since. Mm-hmm. So, mas gusto kong, ano, mas na nahihirapan yung utak ko kung paano, ano, <laughs> magmanipulate ng, ng materials. Ah. So, yeah. So, so, this year, napili ko yung sako to, uh, yan, to promote na rin the environment. Kasi normally, di ba, yung mga plastics oh, and all. So, very environmental friendly din yeah. siya. So, this is your first time to use this material? Yes, for this tear. How did yeah. you treat the material? Ano to, ano to, from, you just, where did you get the banig and the sako? Yeah, so, <laughs> kami naman tayong suppliers dito uh, sa Pilipinas ng uh, mga sako. No? Uh, so, yun lang, medyo pinasosyal natin yung gamit ng sako. Uh, mm. Hindi naman siya, ano, no, mahirap isuot. Hindi naman. Actually, yung first ko talaga, nung nagsimula ko sa career na to, I made wedding gown out of uh, rice sack. Okay. So, yun yung uh, finiture ko kay kay Sir Manny Librodo. So, yun yung time na na, na nakilala ako okay. because of ano I'm using you know, conventional unusual, yes. unconventional choice yes, yes. of material. Correct, correct. Okay. So, how many pieces will you be showing for for the show? Nako marami. My finale would be around like 20 pieces. Mm-hmm. Yes. Then I have other other pieces for other brands naman din. And then it will all be female clothes or did you make um, also for men? For male. Male and female. Interesting. Exciting. Yes. <laughs> eh, kung ito pa lang, di ba, pasilip namin to. May mga sako at uh, banig. <laughs> di ba? High fashion. Yes, galing. correct. <laughs> anyway, ang galing ah. So, was this something that kept you busy during the pandemic? Ano ba yung nagpa, ano sa'yo? nagpaikot ng utak mo. Actually, <laughs> supposedly dapat nga nung 2020 pa to mm-hmm. since you know the pandemic nagka, nagka pandemic medyo na antala lahat ng mga bagay-bagay. So, mm-hmm. na focus tayo sa mga maliliit na bagay na para you know mabuhay ang lahat. <laughs> I started actually doing also a banig face mask. So, I have a collection of ba- the banig face mask. Okay, yan, a breathable yan. Yes. <laughs> And you, Mig, uh, what kept you busy? Ako, ma'am, lagi naman akong busy, but on a, on a productive side, of course. Um, mm-hmm. Miss Tina, I, during the pandemic, I saw the, the, the gap to oh, give job and opportunity to people. So, during the pandemic, I created an um, amplified career wherein my clients, my entrepreneur friends are mm-hmm. giving me job vacancies which are shared to everyone. Mix and match okay. of people. Parang it's like a community wherein mm-hmm. you can look for FB and IG amplified career. Mm-hmm. You can check out job vacancies. Mm-hmm. Then I connect you to the right employer. And of course, it's pandemic. I di naman ang sa yaman ang pag pay it forward. Nag mm-hmm. establish amplified care, my charity foundation. Like yeah. I value education, so I tried to donate desktop and books to far flung area wherein they can continuously learn Study. despite the pandemic. Oh. Right. So yeah. Babait niyo pala. <laughs> anyway, so um but I mean because of what you went through this pandemic, I'm sure of course you have an opinion or a view about how the pandemic changed your respective industries. In your case, the fashion industry. Sa tingin mo, how did the pandemic transform it or change it? Nako medyo mahirap, no? To us designers, kasi nung pandemic talagang uh, zero. 
kaya... Di ba? Mm-hmm. Walang, walang kliyente, walang nagpapagawa. Wala, mm-hmm. Actually, walang fashion kasi face mask yung uso at saka uh-huh. PPEs, no? Uh-huh. Pero since, you know, ang Pinoy magagaling talaga, so very talented ang mga designer. So, yun yung naging platform namin to create, you know, Uh, unconventional na mga Mas, face masks. Okay. So, imagine mo, nakakreate tayo ng uh, face masks out of banig. Mm-hmm. So, even the PPEs, no? The, the, oh, so, the fashionable PPEs as well. Parang, basically, what you're saying is parang designers learn to be more sustainable I and environment so. friendly yes. in their choices. Yes. Ganyan. Okay. So, siguro mauuso din yung pag-recycle or rehash ng mga old designs ninyo, no? <laughs> para, para mabago ulit. Pero ano, I think you should be happy because I, the events are coming back. Correct. Thanks to um, people like me. So, <laughs> marketing. Uh, uh, so, yes. so, how do you see Philippine fashion in the international setting in the future? Kahit naman hindi sa in the future, eh. ngayon, ngayon pa lang naman talagang ang mga Filipino designers ay umaariba na yung international mm-hmm. scene, right? Yeah. Siguro ngayon, medyo naantala ng, ng two years, pero ngayon nagbabalik na yung events natin. And eventually, lahat na ng lupalop yeah. ng mundo, Actually, may representative na ang ano, yung Philippines. Philippines. Imagine mo, yung international beauty pageants, ang gumagawa ng mga gowns ng mga different uh-huh. candidates is Pinoy. I know. Yeah. And you've also done that diba? yes. uh, for Japan. Yes, I won the Best in National Costume for Miss Grand International 2021. So, you yes. think that's going to continue in the coming years, no? no? May plano ka rin ba to go international? Or do you plan on helping talaga the local... Yeah, marami tayong mga invitation internationally, pero nakafocus talaga tayo dito sa Philippines, no? Helping mm-hmm. also other co-designers natin na, mm-hmm. you know, to build their portfolios here para naman, you know, mas maging uh, established sila and somehow makatulong tayo, no, papuntang ibang bansa kapag gusto na talaga nilang, you know, mag-promote ng kanilang mga uh, work. Yes. Okay, but what else do you want to accomplish for yourself? Uh, meron pa ba? <laughs> <laughs> of course, ma-establish uli, no, kasi parang itong after the pandemic, parang start Basically, from zero eh. Mm-hmm. From scratch ole. So, ngayon bumabalik na si event. So, ganun pa din. So, we try to to collaborate with uh, different people, mm-hmm. different artists para naman mas maging ano, solido yung ano, pagbabalik natin in the business. Okay. So, maganda talaga itong ginagawa mo because I think we all need to support each other. Yes. And that's another thing about the pandemic. It, it made us parang work together as a community kahit na kung ano-ano pang industriya natin diba? wherever we belong so iba talaga ang pinoy di ba it's important that we continue paving the way for our local artisans because we can really compare internationally with them Correct. so we'll take a short break for now and when we come back we'll get to know our guests better please don't go away Makinig at makisali sa usapan every Friday night at 6pm sa I Speak Katribu Podcast. Samahan si na Daniel at Alvin na pag-usapan ang mga relevant topic na tiyak kakarelatan nyo mga katribu. At pagdating ng Sunday at 7pm, speak your mind with our I Speak program na sasagot sa mga tanong regarding the latest and relevant issues sa paligid natin. I-like at i-follow nyo ang Daily Tribune Facebook page at Tribune Now on YouTube para updated ka sa mga latest episode namin mga katribu. Mapalutong bahay man o sumptuous meal for special occasions, sagot na kayo ng tropang kalanpag. Dahil atid sa inyo ng Daily Tribune ang fun and exciting cooking show na kalanpag, manood at matuto kung paano lutuin ang mga favorite nyong recipes. Sabayan pa ng fun and inspiring na kwentuhan sa kusina. I-upgrade na rin natin ang mga nakasanayang traditional dish ng pamilya. Plus, healthy tipid tips na ibabahagi ng tropang kalanpag. Matuto, mabusog at mga good vibes dito lang sa kalanpag. Tuwing lunes, 10.30am sa Daily Tribune Facebook page at Tribune Now on YouTube. Narito na ang mga makakasama nyo tuwing umaga sa programang Gising Na. Roy Pelovelo, Atty. Lia Badilio Crisostomo, Vernon Velasco, Kim Sancha at Chirk Balagtas. 
Abangan ang programang gising na sa Facebook page ng Daily Tribune. Ilabas ng mainit na kape at samahan kami sa inyong pag-almusal, mga katribo. Simulan natin ang bawat umaga with good vibes sa mga informative and recreational segments ng aming programa. Maaaring nyo rin ibahagi sa amin ang inyong opinion via Daily Tribune Facebook page at Tribunal sa YouTube. Makichika na rin sa latest showbiz happenings, mga katribo. Kaya naman, pagsama-sama po tayo sa... Gising na! Mga katribo, tara na't makiisa at matuto sa mga public service programs hatid ng Kalingang Katribo. Tuwing lunes, nandyan ang usapang business na magbibigay tips at inspirasyon sa mga aspiring entrepreneurs kasama si Vernon Velasco. Tuwing Biyerkules, usapang pangkulusugan naman ang tatalakay ni Ms. Cory Quirino sa health and wellness. At tuwing Biyernes naman, kung legal advice ang kailangan mo, Sagot ka na ng Legal Diaries kasama si Elmer Navarro Manuel at mga guest lawyers. Lahat ng niya mapapanood tuwing alas 3.30 ng hapon sa Daily Tribune Facebook page at Tribune Now on YouTube. You're still watching Spotlight. So now for this segment, we'll play a quick game of fast talk with fashion designer Don Cristobal and Amplify Marketing Corporation President and CEO Mick De La Rosa. So, <laughs> these are just some fun personal questions to get to know them as individuals. Okay, first question. Wag ka yung titingin dyan. The first thing you do when you wake up. Ako ma'am, I pray thee. Say grateful ako talaga. I always thank God for giving me another day to be a blessing for others. Okay. Sana all. After mag thank you, Sana grab, <laughs> grab my phone. Grab your phone. Oh nga, alam mo, lahat tayo ganyan. Okay. Last thing you do when you, before you sleep. Ako ma'am, uh, I normally wash my face talaga. Uh, kailangan uh, you take care of yourself. Tapos ilapag yung phone, gano'n. Meron naman tayong unpowered before sleeping. Pinibitawan ng phone. Okay, and done. Ako nagsiset ng alarm. Phone pa rin. Okay. Third question, your favorite piece of clothing? Boxers ako eh. Ako siguro, ano, I love jacket, Miss Dina. Uh, mm. It works for me for casual and work kasi and I'm in a corporate work naman. So, mm. pag nasa office ka, I wear jacket. So, yun. So, yung closet mo puro jacket? Uh, at least I have all the colors. <laughs> <laughs> Sige. So, ako siya. boxers, pajamas. Kasi kulang ako sa tulog palagi. Ay, no, eh. Para yun yung palagi kung ano. <laughs> so, <laughs> look forward. <laughs> okay. Look up. Speaking of, uh, what's a day in a life for you guys? Ano ba yung nangyayari sa buhay nyo? Sige, ako muna. Ako talaga, the whole morning, I communicate and coordinate all my work-related stuff. Email, talks, follow-ups. And normally, my meetings after lunch and up to the late nights because I was able to... Find time meeting clients and friends after office. So I try to engage a lot because uh, I love working with people face to face. So mm -hmm. pandemic really uh, is a hindrance for me because I'm more effective. My charm <laughs> is effective in face to face rather uh, than online. Okay. In a marketing work, ang hirap gawin online. <coughs> so sales and marketing work are better and effectively implemented when face to face. Face to face. Correct. So masaya ka na ngayon. Yeah. Ganun. Masayang masaya <laughs> because especially seeing everyone jumping and bump jump uh, bumping up again. You know, mm -hmm. seeing. Uh, uh, businesses opening again, yeah. revitalize yung media industry, everybody getting work again. It's inspire, inspiring me to be able to, oh, and dami na naman. You know, oh. seeing everyone going back to their feet again, it's really inspiring. And I cannot uh, say anything but gratefulness to everyone. Uh, you know, the tenacity and uh, the oh, faith. Oo nga, nag on lang mga tao yes. talaga. Laban. Uh, laban lang. <laughs> Ngayon, may, may hirap na mag-schedule kasi everywhere, may events, no? Uh, Every day. Oh, <laughs> it's a good, oh. ano naman, it's a good problem. Problem. Ay, hindi naman siya, ano, uh, hahanapan mo lang talaga ng time. Kasi pag gusto mo naman yung ginagawa mo, Miss Tina, I think the bottom line is, if you love what you're doing naman, you will find time. Busy is just an alibi and excuse. Oo oh, nga. Oh, Tama. <laughs> 
and you, what's a day like for Don? Nag-start ang day ko, lunch time. <laughs> because I normally sleep around like uh, 5 or 6 in the morning. Not unless that I have a special meeting sa morning, sa babangon ako ng maaga. Pero normally, like after lunch na. So, same with Sir Mig, checking out emails, mag-respond ka sa lahat ng mga clients mo. Lahat ng mga inquiries mo, may magpapagawa ba ng bagong damit sa iyo and all. Plus the existing work na meron kami, so ginaguid yung tao and all. So okay. busy, busy. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you do on your rest days? Ano yung rest? Days? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Nakakain ba yung rest day? <laughs> Para I would like to echo that, but uh kidding aside, uh my rest day is normally weekend. Uh, when I, I turned 40 last year, I make sure to really try to find a work that <clears throat> balance Miss Dina. Because I think everyone acknowledged that the pandemic taught us uh, the value of taking care of ourselves. Love ourselves, take care of our health. So, nagbawas ako ng kaunti ng trabaho, Miss Dina. I try to give time to myself other than mag-exercise, cardio at least, you know, mag-simba. And I am a fan of having massage kasi talagang my, my line of work is really stressful. stressful. Mm -hmm. So I try to take care of myself with all the uh, personal hygiene in the regimen because uh, pag marketing ka kasi sabi lagi ng client, how can you sell us if you cannot sell yourself? You know, mm. you have to embody and you have to epitomize what you're selling. So, trying to be presentable as much as possible is uh, a good part of what I do, not only for myself, but for them. Oh, okay. That's why I'm very careful, including my integrity, reputation, and the things that I do, because mm -hmm. what I do affects them. Correct. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tama. <Ayan. laman. laughs> Diba? Ako rest day, new rest resolution ko. <laughs> new rest resolution ko, mag-rest mag mag na ako eh. Pero until now, para Wala sa... pa rin rest. Kahit pandemic, hindi ka pa rin nakabawi. But I normally rest naman during Sundays. Okay, you sleep I talaga sure in your I have time for pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sleep lang. Okay, sige. So, what's a... Ito ha, next question. What's a fashion trend that you would like to return? Come back. Done. I think the 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 question is yours. <laughs> Ang fashion naman talaga bumabalik at bumabalik yan. Uh -huh. eh. So uh, bumalik na ba yung favorite mo or gusto mo pang may babalik pa dyan? <laughs> uh, sa cuts, siguro colors lang. So more into earth tones yan. Black kasi classic. Uh -huh. So okay. normally yun lang naman yung ano. Eh. But yung cuts Bumabalik, bumabalik na, na eh. Bumabalik na eh. Iba ang uso ngayon, ano, mga... Uh, ako volume. kasi naman, ma'am, uh, yung passion, kumbaga, kaya ko na... Alam ko kasi, ma'am, yung bagay sa akin, the way mm -hmm. I went, kung ano yung kaya kong dalhin. Mm -hmm. So, from a, a professional perspective, kung ano man ang fashion dyan, hahanapan ko pa rin kung ano lang yung bagay sa akin. Tama. Hindi ko ipifit yung ano. Because I, one thing that I've learned and na naririnig ko at nababasa ko from designers, hindi naman lahat kaya mong suotin. It's the comfort that gives you the, the lifestyle and kung komportable ka, kahit mura yan, kaya mong dalhin, mm -hmm. you can rock that outfit. Oh, okay. di ba? So, Personal yun. style nga. Correct. What Personal makes you style. feel good. Yeah. Will Saka make kaya kung ano man ang darating ng mga <laughs> fashion uh, updates dyan, uh, basta kaya ko go lang. Experimental Pero wala ka naging favorite? Like, uh, some people... Bill Button, mga gano'n. Oh, <laughs> hindi naman. Wala naman usapang edad. Edad ko yun. <laughs> ang ira ko mga metallic ha. Mga gano'n. Mga, mga maluwag na ano. Mga Gusto mo pa yung super fit na ano. Na so, uh, uh, baston. Baston. <laughs> so, may zipper sa Pag baba. mga maluwag, mga edad mo yan. <laughs> Medyo slim fit na edad ko na. So bahala na kayo. Yung mga mga viewers natin. Maghula kung sino mas matanda. So, you know... So, gusto mo lang mga relax. Na. Ah, ano lang, siguro, basta as lang as comfortable ako. Casual, mm -hmm. comfort. Ganyan. Kasi, Correct. ang hirap, ma'am, especially when you're walking, when you're working, kung hindi ka comfortable sa suot mo, oh. it affects your performance. At least, that's from and my perspective. Mood. Yes, correct. And um, your mood. Yeah, um, tama ka dyan. Kasi pag makate, hindi ka makagalaw, or if people are staring at you because of the loud colors, you know, 
why people are staring. So you you get uncomfort, uh, uncomfortable. Gaze yeah. I think it's more of the character, kasi ng tao yes. eh, and style. And, style. and speaking style. of that, uh, Don will gonna be uh, creating a a, a, su- a, a suit, a, a, a suit or whatever outfit for that June 11. I don't ask him. Sabi ko sa kanya, is surprise yun lang ako. As long as there's one requirement, na kaya ko dalhin, ah. syempre. Kasi I want to to wear it even after the event. Kasi syempre, I want to honor him about it. Okay. And biro ko nga sa kanya para mas maibenta kita ng mas mahal at marami. <laughs> Kasi pag hindi bumagay sa akin, ma'am, yung oh, gagawin niya sa akin, magbabami rin yun, magbabami rin yun sa kanya. I mean, hindi bagay. Ayaw kong bumili magpagawa kay Don. So, yun yung biroan namin. But Nako, I, siya yata pinaka-difficult customer. No, no, no. I give my full trust to Don the same way that oh, I'm pressure, di ba? Oh, yeah. Lagyan natin ng konting pressure pa pressure nga akong Nako, matagal, tagal, ticket matagal, eh. matagal tagal siyang hindi magpapajamas dahil sa'yo. Oh, wala siya ang tulog. Man, the pressure is on on both sides naman. So, oh, dapat okay. lang ipasa ko naman. Eh, yeah. Anyway, ang fun naman ito. So, thank you Don and Migs for yeah. being with us today, this afternoon. I really enjoyed our conversation <laughs> and we're definitely looking forward to Pride, yes. June 11. So, before we let you go, we would like to. Would you like to say something to our viewers? Yeah, and so please come celebrate with us. Celebrate uh, fashion with pride this mm. coming June 11 uh, at exactly uh, 6 p.m. Mm. at a uh, Crown Plaza Manila Galleria. Mm-hmm. Ayan. Uh, niyo po, uh, together with all the 12 uh, designers. featured designers. Yes. Okay. Exciting yeah. na, na, ano ako sa what kind of creations they will come so, up with. So, ako naman, as ang role ko dito, of course, sa event is I'm the marketing partner, our humble company, Amplify. So, uh, we're celebrating four events on that evening, on that day. Mm-hmm. Please support Don because it's also his birthday month. So, <laughs> maawa na kayo sa kanya. <laughs> Mabili po kayo ng tickets. You can PM him or PM me or contact Amplify PH on yes. FB Instagram. They can get their so, tickets. Uh, you can reserve your tickets. Yes. So, we have VIP tickets and uh, regular admission. Please do support because uh, this is a very uh, good opportunity for you guys to to meet the industry stockholder and of course let's celebrate Independence Day and uh, the beauty and the talent of our designers. Thank yeah. you very much for having us Miss Dina. Thank they you so much Miss Dina. Oh, thank you for being <laughs> with us this afternoon and good luck with the event. Thank we'll you. see you there. Yes. Ba? And of course, thank you to our Katribus for tuning in today. Watch Spotlight Live every Thursday at 2 p.m. on Daily Tribune's official Facebook page and on Tribune Now on YouTube. I'm Dina Ventura, and this has been Spotlight. Mm-hmm.